Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey, registered dietitian here. And I am really excited to share this video with you. We hear lots of celebrities talk about their resets, their detoxes, their cleanses. They're somewhat used all interchangeably. And I do follow Kristen Cavallari, big fan here, always wrapping her jewelry just because I like it. And I saw her post that she did something called the Chroma Wellness Reset. And I was intrigued. She had gotten back from a trip to Mexico. She said she always enjoys doing it after traveling because it just resets her and it's also not starvation. That's what drew me in. It got me intrigued and I got to thinking, why not test this out for my own self to see if I notice any differences? And number two, to give you my dietitian thoughts on if programs like this are in fact helpful, useful, if it's a valuable tool that you should be trying out. If you enjoy content like this and are interested in seeing my results in the Chroma Reset, then be sure to give this video a like and make sure you are subscribed to the channel and let's dive on in. Now it's important to mention that this is the real Chroma review. This is not sponsored. I'm not getting paid. They didn't sell me anything. I paid my own dime for this. So I am giving you my genuine, honest thoughts here. Before we jump on into the video, I want you to comment down below if you've ever done a reset or a cleanse or a detox and let me know what your experience is or how you feel when you hear that word because I know it evokes a certain response in me when I hear people talking about detoxing. I ventured over to the Chroma website and I ended up purchasing what is called the five day reset. It was a limited edition one. So I believe mine came with a couple extras that I think they do from time to time. She is quite pricey. So the five day reset is $495. One thing I wanna jump into real quick with ordering that, I intended to use this in the same manner that I saw other people use it. So I had been traveling, I had went to Houston. I wanted to, when I came home from traveling and before I was about to travel again, utilize that short time frame to do this reset. So I expedited the package. It was very time sensitive that I got it here in effort to do it during that duration I wanted to do it for. Something happened and it showed tracking wise it wasn't gonna be here when it needed to be here for me. So I contacted Chroma immediately. They instantly not only refunded me the $75 I was about to pay for expedited shipping, but in addition, the package, it got pushed out that day. I don't I don't know what happened, but it got pushed out and it actually arrived at my home earlier than I thought it was going to. I just want to mention that customer service wise, they were fantastic. They got back to me super quick. It was not a generic response. It was very thought out and very customer oriented. So quite impressed with that. So I do want to say, yes, you're spending a considerable amount of money so when you're spending that much money, the customer service to me is that much more important. But let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this reset. The purpose of this reset and what lured me into it, I wouldn't have done it if it was just starvation mode because I am very anti doing any of that. Even doing this, I was a little uncertain about it, but I did like their messaging when it came to this program, the fact that it is five days. There are different ways to modify it based on your own needs and where you're at. So there's, and they give you those tools on how to modify it based on the results you're looking for. So essentially what it's intended to do is reset your system. It eliminates some foods out of your system. So it is gluten-free, it's dairy-free, it's thought to help decrease inflammation in your body. So you do remove a lot of things, but over a span of five days. The experience of itself is meant to really focus in on nourishing foods, nourishing ingredients. They do use the term superfoods in here. So a lot of what you're consuming has a really robust ingredients in it. In addition to that, what you will find is a lot of what you're consuming is more so in liquid form for what they provide to you and more to come on that in a bit. The call outs on this are intended to be overall slimming and de-bloating, better sleep, clearer mind, which that sounded fantastic for me, especially after traveling. 
more energy. Again, I needed that after traveling and about to go into further travels. Balanced adrenal system, so you can have adrenal fatigue, possibly weight loss, increased metabolic function, as well as improved digestion. And the digestion part was something that drew me in because with traveling, I am someone that my digestion is often wonky. So if you're wondering why as a dietitian I wanted to choose to do this, I really did want to see mainly if my energy was better, if I did have less bloating, because I do have some digestion issues based on what I'm eating from time to time, especially after traveling, I can be very sensitive. So I thought this was the perfect time to try it out. When you receive the Chroma box, it's quite impressive, I'll be honest. I think part of your cost shows in their packaging and how well laid out everything is. Oftentimes a program like this can be very intimidating, can be very confusing. And if it's confusing to follow, what is the point? You're paying a lot of money to do this. It should be very simple. And I have to say they did an amazing job with their packaging, with laying it all out. So it was very simple. Everything is in its own separate packets, listed by day, listed by meal, separated out day by day with all the tools you need in there. In addition, it does come with this reset guide that's super handy. You can also sign into their app and get information there on how to customize things and just make it really easy for yourself. So I did find that to be very well done on their part. So the protocols that they have for you to choose from are lifestyle, lean, and then active. For me, I personally went with the active protocol because it not only allowed you to eat everything they provided to you, but more so you add in your own other food. So you add in things like extra proteins, nuts, avocados, coconut cream, um, and other fruits, berries. So I wanted to do that one because you will notice with this program overall, it is much lower in carbohydrates. So for me, I didn't want to go too low calorie. I wanted to make sure my calories were still within somewhat of my maintenance level um, and just making sure I was giving my body enough energy. So to me, it was important because I am an active person. I was still weightlifting every single day during this this program as well as doing cardio. So I really wanted to best support my performance while still maneuvering through the reset. That's honestly what I would recommend if you're a first time person wanting to do this. You probably follow me because you're a fitness person, you're active. This wellness reset by itself, if you just only consumed everything that came with it, is about 1,050 calories, it said. So it is a lower calorie, but it does come with a lot of add-ins. So it comes with some other add-ins, an almond butter mix, um, some creamers, and other things that also add on to the calories. In addition to that, I added in proteins, vegetables, berries, etc. So I made sure I was getting more so 13 to 1500 calories. So depending on your body size, for me, that's not a huge shift. For me, I can fluctuate anywhere between 1300 to 2000 calories, depending on the day, depending on the mood. So it wasn't anything extreme for me to follow per se, but it will depend on your body size. But that is what's nice about this. It's very much individualized for you to adjust how you need to. You'll see throughout this video, different examples of how the meals can look pretty much every day is it's not the same. That is what's nice about it. The structure is the same, but you'll rotate between say, it might be a beef broth one day. It'll be a vegetable broth the next day. Some of the smoothie mixes are different. So every day has a little bit of a different flavor. So if that's something you like, I wouldn't have minded doing the same exact thing for five days, but it was nice that they had some options there. So it did still give you for variety within your five days. I'm gonna go into some of the pros and cons that I experienced over my five day reset. For one, with the pros, I wanna say I started this during a very busy week where I was in between traveling. So honestly, I struggle a lot with decision fatigue when it comes to my meals especially working in a hospital. At the time I was still working at the hospital, I'm not anymore. And if you're wondering what that's all about, go back and watch my last video with my announcement of quitting my job and that'll get you up to date. But at this time of doing the reset, I was still at the hospital. So for me, that was always a struggle, planning my meals, what am I, what am I gonna eat? How much am I gonna wanna eat? Whereas this protocol was all laid out for me. I just 
packed it up, brought it to work. It wasn't too complex. I brought the other add-ons with me, almond milk, berries. I had a magic bullet at work, some things like that. So I, it was pretty easy to just bring it to work and it was all there for me. With that, the pro I would say is with being so busy, not having to make decisions each meal about what I needed to eat or how much, just having it laid out for me five days, not only was a reset for my body, but it was a reset for my mind. It just, it took that out of my mind and it also can bring some awareness to how much of the day are you thinking about food? Are you planning your next meal? It can really take up a lot of headspace and, and almost wear you down in terms of your energy. So in that aspect, it was really nice to not have to make a decision. It was what it was for those five days. I wasn't missing out on anything. It's not as if I committed to a three month bodybuilding prep. It was five days of my life that I wasn't gonna eat out. I was gonna eat my meals that I brought and that actually was quite nice. The second thing I will say that I do feel is a pro but also could be a con for many of you is that I did find it simple in terms of preparation. Everything is in, for the most part a little sachet packet so you do need to have access to hot water. For me, that wasn't a deal at work. I had access to hot water in our water fountain, but I could see depending on the job you do, if you are someone that would be doing this during your workday, you would need to consider how accessible this is to you. Now for me working from home, this would be very easy to follow. In addition, I did have that small magic bullet that I brought to work, so I could easily blend up a smoothie at work. Might not be practical for everyone, but in effort to really consume everything, you do need access to things like that to make it easy for yourself. So for me, it wasn't really a pro or a con. I was kind of neutral. I was able to adhere to it, but I could see that being a con for some of you. Con on this one, although it makes total sense for me with resetting your body, is the reduction in caffeine. So they do suggest not having coffee, or if you are to have it, they suggest just doing it black or with a little almond milk. So for me, I am an avid coffee drinker and usually have an energy drink. So the nice thing about this protocol is it totally removes any artificial sweeteners out of your diet, which I am someone that does believe in moderation with those, but I also believe if you're having digestion issues, it can be nice to remove those and see if you improve things. So no artificial sweeteners. For me, I was going to try it with no coffee, but I felt like I was going to spiral out of control and already didn't want to be, you know, I was going to be at work and I didn't want to be moody and angry. So I did still have my, my cold brew with my almond milk in the morning, but they do give you, there's matcha you take in the morning. And then in addition, there's this perfect fast tea um, that's also supposed to give you a natural boost. So I was scared at first, but I did still have coffee, so it wasn't so bad. But if you are someone going all into this, maybe consider that. That to me was one nice aspect to overall with decreasing the caffeine content that I'll talk about at the end with my results. I would say, honestly, the, the biggest con to this is just the fact that it's so super duper expensive. When you break it down for the cost, it's, it's roughly about $85 a day. And then within that $85 a day, you are getting 10 sachet packets. So if you break that down as a meal, still ends up being nine to $10 a meal. So that is very expensive for any of us. So this is very much a bougie type wellness reset. I just elbowed my dog in the head. I am so sorry, buddy. So sorry. This is very expensive. This is not something that I think the average person could afford. Do I think there's another way for you to do a reset like this without paying for Chroma's package? Yes, I do. But the benefit of Chroma that I noticed was they truly did in each and every item that you're consuming really did make it robust. So for instance, your bone broth, it's bone broth. In addition, it has collagen added in there. It has all types of veggies added in there. Your greens, your onion, your spinach, sweet potato, has spices, apple cider vinegar. It's got, um, this one has turmeric in it. So, and they all have different things. So each and every one of these, there's a superfood elixir. That one's got digestive enzymes. It's got probiotics, adaptogens, antioxidants. Of course, we don't know in what amounts are in everything, but you really are maximizing each and every time you eat 
the types of nutrition that you're putting into your body for five days. Let's talk about the energy I felt on this. So day one, honestly, was such a busy day for me. I had a full work day, went to a hair appointment. So I actually struggled with finishing all the allocated meals, if you if you will, that were provided. I don't think I did one of the smoothies. There's afternoon latte. There is so much here that you would think when you talk about a detox or a cleanse that you would be starving and you would be hungry and you would be angry. But honestly, it was more of a struggle to consume everything. I think even if I would have just been sitting at home working from home all day, it, it would have still been a challenge to consume everything. So I wouldn't say that I didn't feel hungry, but it, it was a lot to be on top of the nutrition all day long, which I guess could be a con for some of you that don't like to stop and fuel your body every couple of hours because this reset really does require you to stop what you're doing every couple of hours if you're going to get in everything you are intended to. Day one, I felt good though. Day two, I also felt good. Day two, I was somewhat feeling a little bit under caffeinated from my usual levels, which made me be thankful that I was still choosing to do cold brew coffee with almond milk. But at the same time, I wasn't feeling hungry. I was feeling actually very thankful due to how busy I was that I didn't have to make these meal decisions. Day three to four is when I felt the biggest difference. I want to say day three, I started feeling just a little, maybe it was a little edgy. I want to say that was probably likely due to this being so much lower in carbohydrate. And I am someone that's used to really fueling with carbohydrates with each and every meal. And this is considerably lower. I didn't actually try to track it to figure it out, but you can tell just from looking at it, it is a lower carb model, which makes sense when you are trying to rest the gut and reset it. By day four though, I felt really good. Day four and day five, I felt awesome. I even, I think, put something on Instagram, DM the company. They asked how I was feeling, which I thought was considerate of them. And I was like, I am feeling great. I could really see the difference on day four with my energy, as well as the, the bloating scenario. Now I wasn't weighing in every day, but I could tell a difference, a noticeable difference. For me, the morning blow is always a telltale sign in terms of my digestion. And by day four, it, my stomach was considerably less bloated in the morning and I frequently do wake up with issues. So four and five, I felt fantastic. And my energy was really good. I was really impressed with my energy levels considering I had just gotten back from travel. I had such a busy work week. I was trying to do a bunch of things all at once. Um, and I still felt really great. And Jason had mentioned to me as well, I had to do a live launch party for Buff Bunny Collection where I literally talked for three hours straight. And he had commented how after that I never crashed, which usually I crash. I lay there, I can't move. I can't do anything the rest of the day. I am just so fatigued. And on that one in particular, I was good. I was vivacious. I was still chatty. We went and did things. And it was a few hours later that he commented that. And I, I do believe that was the difference. I just felt more clear headed. And that was day four. So day four is when it really hit me with that clearness, just, just really feeling reset essentially. I think it's also important to comment on meal enjoyment throughout this process because I do think that's an underrated component of our eating, how satisfied we are, getting that enjoyment from it. And I can only speak for my own personal preferences, but honestly, most of this year, I was pretty much on a soup kick. I had Jason making soup for me all the time cold in New York, you know, during the winter, even in the springtime, it's still a bit chilly. So I enjoy soup and I enjoy sipping on soup at work. So for me to have a lot of the meals essentially be in liquid form did not bother me, but I could see where maybe that would bother some of you because for some of us, a lot of meal enjoyment comes from chewing, from the actual process of chewing our meals, which I did still have chewing because I added in I added in fruits, I added in veggies, I added in protein, but overall I had no issues with actually enjoying and honestly looking forward to some of these. The bone broth in particular was my favorite and I would add to that some turkey burger, I would add some veggies and it really made a quite enjoyable meal. At no point in time was I 
full or, oh my gosh, I'm so stuffed I can't consume anything else. It never felt like that. But honestly, the whole five days, I felt very satisfied. And it was also very helpful to, for at least for my box, it came with the add-on of the, oh my God, cookie butter, which that's not counted in the calories that it states it provides. So this was really nice. It's an almond butter concoction with coconut butter, maple sugar, cinnamon. It's got some goji berries in there. So I did the full two tablespoons of this every single day. I would do a tablespoon in the morning and then a tablespoon in the afternoon. And that was another nice little addition to just give me a burst of energy. There, overall, there really wasn't anything I, I did not like out of what they sent for the food and the drinks, I should say. I really did enjoy at nighttime. There is a snooze packet. It's just a magnesium calming restore drink. That was really nice. There's also an afternoon elixir. I really kind of looked forward to everything, to be honest with you. Now let's talk my overall thoughts on this. Do you need to pay $500 to do a wellness reset program? That is an insane amount of money for anyone to spend on this. I did spend that money on this. Would I spend that money again? Honestly, I'm just gonna be honest. I probably would do this again. Not all the time, it's not necessary, but I did see the physical benefits from it. And what I do like about Chroma is I've done other programs where they almost set you up for failure, where you feel like you need to keep doing the same program. They don't do that. They actually give you a lot of information, a lot of tools on how to set yourself up for sustainable changes moving forward. They don't say you have to continue to do this. They, of course, sell some of these items on their site that you could continue to purchase, continue to incorporate. But in addition to that, they give you a lot of information on how to slowly get back into your regular eating routine, how to start adding in more of your regular meals and continue on your health journey. The fact that it's already all set up for you and they do have so many nutritious ingredients in each and every one of the items you're consuming. So even though calories could be a little lower, you're, you still feel like you're getting such good nutrition. So I wouldn't feel confident necessarily that I could recreate this on my own. So for me, I do like it for that aspect of things. And I, and I did feel the physical benefits from it. I also felt like I noticed that I was having a bit of acne during this five days, which is not typical for me lately. And I, in a way, feel that maybe my body was detoxing it and purging, because that can happen as well, right? So for me, while my skin wasn't necessarily glowing during it, I think I was purging and eliminating some of the toxins that I had in my body. I could be wrong, I'm just making an assumption here that I wanted to point out. I feel this probably just won't be a popular opinion being a dietitian. I think right now it's real trendy for dietitians to think everything is diet culture. But for me, this was, I was really impressed with how this program was put together and the principles that they reiterate in here for you to be successful for the long term. So context matters, you guys. So just because you hear someone did a reset or a cleanse, it doesn't mean it's inherently bad. You have to really dig in and take a look at things for the bigger picture. For me, this was five days of my life. It reduced stress because I didn't have to make all those decisions around food when I had such a busy week. It definitely did reset me. I noticed improvement in my digestion. My gut felt better. My mind felt clear. Is that placebo? I don't think so because like I said, it was just such a busy week. I, I picked the hardest week of my life to do this reset and I still felt the benefits. So I did find that very telling. At the end of the day, it would be up to you if this would be worth it. Am I gonna sit here and say, everyone needs to do a five day reset? Absolutely not, but honestly, I will say, if you are someone that struggles with bloating, with digestion issues, what could be food sensitivities or intolerances, oftentimes we hear about doing an elimination diet. That is very restrictive. It's very time consuming and it is challenging. So that is an option out there, but I think it's nice to have tools like this for, for others that I don't believe I have insensitivities, but to do a reset and really let my body slow down, limit what I'm putting into it, just ease on the digestion. Gotta say, it was it was real nice. And 
I, I'm a believer in it. I am a believer. I, I really enjoyed it. So if I can afford to, I may do this again at some point in the future. That's going to be it for me in this video. If you enjoy this type of content, if you want to see me do other celebrity diets or things like that and really break it down and let you know if it's worth it, then please be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one.